my power's out, but we got some news. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. It's your boy True and Fun, and today's date is Thursday, July the 27th. July 27th, y'all see what I did there? But anywho, we got some news that we need to talk about. So check this out. Niantic have announced Safari Zone events. Yes, Safari Zone is back, and check this out. They're gonna be at three different locations. We got one in South, South Korea, that will be on October 7th and October 8th. And then literally a week from that, it's gonna be Barcelona, uh, Barcelona, Spain from October 13th and 14th. And then there's gonna be one in Mexico City, Mexico on November 4th and 5th. That's the one that I, I'll be trying to get to. So let's go over each one of these events. Really the Pokemon spawn, so, and the pricing. So yeah, there you go with that. So let's start off with Seoul, South Korea, which I would not be going to, cause that's like a, 18 hour flight for me something like that so that's not happening so anywho you're looking at the pricing right now it's at 11,000 w with the two lines over it i don't know what currency that is but that how much the tickets cost so it's going to be from 10 a.m to 6 p.m that local time zone kst and that's on both days by the way so i'm assuming you can get one ticket per day i don't think the ticket yeah one day tickets yeah they won't cover both days so you will be getting eevee wearing an explorer hat and yes that can be shiny so get as many as those you can for the evolutions and trading assuming you can involve them but nevertheless here's the pokemon that'll be spawning there clefairy volpix alone volpix growlup electrobuzz centric mukro unknown e o and s Heracross, Plusso and Mining, Shumpit, Chimeco, Joltik, Skeetle, which is going to be the new one right there, Helioptile, Daydane, Noibat, Young Goose, and all those can be shiny, and then you go get the Sensei Style, Oricorio, and Cutie Fly. Those two cannot be shiny. There's going to be a field research task there, and then there's going to be ticket holders bonuses. So you're going to look at lower modules, not the golden one, that's going to last for four hours during the event. You're also going to be looking at five special trades that can be made on the day on your ticket. No matter where you are in the area, trades will require 50% less stardust, and your buddy may find exclusive tiny compass souvenirs, which are useless. But let's move on. There's going to be add ons. You're going to get the raid level that costs 5500 in that local currency, where you get 12 free raid passes per day by spending photo discs. So you got to spend like 11 to 12 for the disc at gyms to get those passes additional 5,000 xp for completing raids three additional candies rewarded for catching pokemon and five star raids and primal raids so primal raids will be there and one additional candy xl rewarded for catching pokemon and five star raids and primal raids and you gotta be level 31 and up to get candy xls then it's gonna be the enthusiastic bonus add-on for that will cost the same price you will get one half egg has distance double has stardust Double Hatch XP and Double Hatch Candy. And then there's going to be the City Ride Gameplay that's going to cost 8200 of that local currency. So this is two days of adventure right here. After selecting either a Saturday or Sunday ticket, you can purchase this ticket for the other day to make the most of your time. So if you got a Saturday ticket, you can get the City Ride Gameplay for a Sunday and vice versa. So here you go get an increased chance of encountering shiny Pokemon up to five special trades per day. I mean, well daily within the city one half star does cost for trades within the city incense not daily adventure incense will last for eight hours and lower modules active doing event will last for three hours so that's interesting so any restrictions for the saturday sunday add-on will apply so yeah there you go with that and then to talk about how you purchase a ticket so you could do that in the game and you can get the ticket to a friend as well do not give me a ticket to this because i will not be going unless you pay for my flight and yeah there you go with that so that one is for the south south korea safari zone now let's take a look at the one in barcelona i would not be going to this one as well because i don't trust europe so there's that this one is going to cost 12 of that local currency i don't remember what that is so there's that that one will be on october 13 and 14 obviously they're going to be a one day ticket and the time frame is 10 a.m to 6 p.m that local time zone so there's that. So as usual, the Eevee with the Explorer hat will be there. Yes, that can be shiny. Different Pokemon here, though. You're looking at Scrotto, Sandshrew, Goldeen, Staryu, Magikarp, Unknown B, C, and N, Dunsparce, Shuckle, Hitmontop, Loudred, Zangoose, Anoreth, Relicant, Gibble, Hippopotas, 
Carablast, Stunfist, Skittle, and Shrullis. All those can be shiny, and you're going to get Vanillite and Shandy Gas. Those two cannot be shiny as well. You know, the field research will be there. The ticket holder bonuses are the same, and you got the add-ons. So the Raid Lover will cost five, but that local currency, same with the Edge Enthusiastic, you get the same bonuses there. The CD by gameplay we call eight of that local currency. And then of course the bonus are the same. So there you go with that. Now let's talk about the third event, the one that I'm gonna to try to go to. That's the one in Mexico City, Mexico. That would be on November 4th and 5th. And that would cost 150 MX. Again, I don't know what that is to be honest. So again, that's a one day ticket, but the time frames are different. November 4th, it's straight up 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I believe that's central time zone, central standard time. And then November 5th is 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then it would be 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So I don't know, maybe there's something going on in between within the city, within that area. I don't know what's up with the split time. So that's very interesting, if I do say so myself. So obviously, whichever ticket, you know, whichever day you get is a one-day ticket. So keep that in mind as well. And EV rent, the Explorer Heavy be there. But check out the Pokemon spawning there. Charmander, the homie. Ekans, Paris or Paraz, how do you pr pronounce that? Cubone, Wooper, Unknown E, M, and X will be there. Pinko, Lotad, C Dot, Cacnea, Baltoy, Dusko with a Simpachushi, the Crown. We're gonna call it that, the Crown. Tropius, Kakarot, Perline, Axu, Rufflet, and Skittle. They will be shiny. And then the Moga and Halucha would not be shiny. That's a good list of Pokemon, if I do say so myself. And then, of course, same as the other two places. They're going to be field research tags there. Ticket holder bonuses are the same. And then you got the uh, Raid Lovers that would cost $60 in that local currency. Same with the Enthusiastic with the same bonuses. And the City Ride Gameplay would cost 100 of that local currency with the same bonus as the others and then you know how you purchase tickets how to get the friends and things of that nature so there you have it so that's the news regarding the safari zone events that will be going on for the second half of the year again two of them will be in october and then of course the one in mexico city will be in november i'm gonna try my hardest to go to that one i have not purchased anything yet because my money is being saved for japan and new york so once I get back from New York or sometime after that, I will be looking to get in a flight to Mexico City. So there you go with that. I'm going to call it a wrap. So with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is boy New Jack Aspy, a.k.a. New Stupid A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Do it. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Yeah, they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes. Show them that I got what it takes and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm a hit and move away.